last year, this shoe was my favorite Max Cushion shoe. But this year, it's gotten a significant redesign. Did New Balance try and fix what wasn't broken? This is the Fresh Foam X More version 4. It's time to take it for a ride. Eleven point zero five miles, nine minutes, eight seconds per mile, and one hundred and forty three beats per minute today. Going for an easy recovery run in the Fresh Foam X More version four. Now, before I give my thoughts on this shoe, after a couple of runs now, I do want to go over some disclosures. This is a pair of shoes that I bought myself. No one sent it to me. No one's paying me to make this video, and no one's going to get a chance to preview any of my footage or my thoughts before you guys get a chance to see this video on YouTube. So, with that disclosure out of the way, let's talk about the New Balance More. Version four. First, let's go over some specs on this gigantic shoe. Now, even though it is a behemoth, it's not the tallest stack height shoe that I've ever come across, but it's not short either. It comes in at 35 or 34 millimeters of stack height in the heel, depending on who you ask. And there's a four millimeter drop, giving about 30 or 31 millimeters of stack height in the forefoot. Now, in this stack height of the midsole, it's nothing but Fresh Foam X. It's New Balance's more like fun everyday foam and we're getting a bunch of that foam new balance says there's more foam in this shoe than ever and that's due to a couple of things it's taller stack height overall but it's also a wider shoe new balance has given the more the widest platform that they've ever given this shoe which is designed to give the shoe more stability without having to insert any extra dense or stiff portions into the shoe to control motion. Now, to help wrangle all of that foam that's in the shoe, there is a significant rocker in what New Balance is calling its largest rocker to date. And you could see it all the way starting in the heel and moving up towards the front. It's that curled geometry that helps that shoe roll a little bit easier, even though there's a bunch of stack height in this shoe. The way I see the rockers is it's a way of making thick stack heights a little bit more manageable, kind of like if you didn't have that rocker or that roll in the front of the shoe, it would feel a little bit like you were trying to run in flippers on land. Just getting past that point where the teal is getting off the ground would normally be a little bit more difficult if the shoe were just completely flat, but with that curl, everything gets to roll just a little bit more smoothly. On the outsole, we've got a very generous amount of rubber coverage, but yet it's not like a full rubber coverage outsole. I think they're doing a really good job here in balancing the tensions of providing a lot of protection for that foam for this shoe that is intended to soak up a lot of miles, while also not unnecessarily weighing down the shoe too much or taking away from the excitement of that Fresh Foam X midsole foam. Up top, Typically, a lot of brands will look at a shoe that's going to have a stack height like this and say, you know what, we got to continue the puffiness, the extraness, the moreness. In the more version 4, New Balance has managed to resist that urge and kept everything very lightly padded, just enough to keep things comfy, but also not so much that you're going to feel like you're running in memory foam. So I really appreciate the restraint that's up here. The other thing that I will say though, that this color is the black slash phantom colorway and in hand and in person, it looks like kind of like a gray, maybe like a charcoal or graphite type color to me. And I really like the way it looks. A lot of times with some of the New Balance shoes, especially these thicker stack height shoes, when they come in just black, it gets to be a little bit boring. This year with this kind of phantom color, this grayish graphite type color, and it's not a pure white midsole either. There's a little bit of color fade. There's like a kind of a gray spray paint that fades into more of the white foam color. And I really like the way that they've treated this shoe in terms of making it still very obviously a thick stack height shoe, but also not making it look like it belongs on Herman Munster's feet. And in total, this shoe comes in at a relatively lightweight of 10.4 ounces or 295 grams. Now let's talk about what it was like to run in this shoe. Now this is a shoe meant for your easy days, your recovery days, and those long runs where you're looking to get a lot of time on feet. Yesterday I had a hard workout, so today I wanted to still get in a run, but also pamper my feet a little bit. And the Fresh Foam More version four is an absolutely perfect shoe 
for that. The squishiness of that Fresh Foam X foam is really comfortable on your feet, but also the rocker geometry of the shoe helps keep things rolling. So that way it doesn't feel like you're dragging a lot of weight with you in this shoe and the shoe has a nice amount of bounce to it. Now I use two words, squish and bounce. And for me, those mean very different things, but I suppose we should define these terms of art here. When I say squish, I think of squish like a pillow squishes when you lay your head down on it. That feels really comfortable when you're going to sleep, but it's not something I'd wanna run in. And when I say bounce, I think of something like if I took a golf ball and dropped it onto some concrete, it would bounce really quickly high up. But running on a golf ball doesn't exactly sound like my idea of a great time either. So when I say that a shoe has squish and bounce, that means it means that the shoe is absorbing the impact of your foot hitting the ground well, and also bringing you back up and off the ground. This shoe has both squish and bounce, but I'd say it's a little bit more on the squishy side. It's not super springy, like something that you might wanna do a workout in. And for the type of shoe that this is, this Max Cushion Easy Day Recovery Day shoe, I think that is a perfect balance that they managed to strike. Now, in terms of structure in this shoe, there isn't anything that would make it a stability shoe, and I definitely appreciate that. For me, whenever there's like a hint of stability in a shoe, it tends to aggravate some things that I have going on in my knees. So I like very neutral shoes, and I feel like that's what this is. But because this is such a wide platform here, it really absorbs any of the excess motion that you might otherwise reach for a stability shoe for to kind of help prevent from your shoes moving around too much as your foot hits the ground. So even though this is a squishy foam, it's not gonna be moving around in any sort of crazy ankle breaking amount because there's that width here to kind of even everything else. So I think a lot of people who may need a little bit of stability in some of their shoes can still be able to run in this without any problems because of the width of that platform that you're landing on. And again, that rocker helps keep things rolling so that way it doesn't feel like you're running in clogs or like on big blocks of wood. Everything still flows really well. And I think one of my favorite parts of this shoe is that they have that new formulation of the Fresh Foam X that is lighter, airier, and just less dense than it's been in the past. And with the four millimeter drop, that means we're not losing quite as much stack height as we get to the forefoot. So even on my easy and recovery days, while I might not be exactly all the way up on my toes, I'm still landing on the midfoot and hitting a lot of that impact towards the pads of my feet. So I like it when there is still a lot of stack height in that that forefoot and this shoe is delivering in that aspect as well. So taking it for a longer, easy run where I've got a lot of time on feet today, it was an absolute pleasure to be able to run in this shoe. Now, is this a shoe that I'd wanna bring out for a race or a workout? Probably not just because there is a lot of shoe that's here, but for days like today where I just wanna get out there, get some easy miles in, which is the bulk of my marathon training, this is an absolutely fantastic shoe to reach for. Overall, I think that the Fresh Foam More version four is a max cushion shoe that even people who don't love max cushion shoes will be able to enjoy. And it's a shoe that I think that I can recommend to just about everybody. I went with my regular size nine in this shoe and I felt like the fit of the shoe really works well for me and matches with the type of shoe that this is. It's a little bit more relaxed and it's giving you a little bit of space. I do think also that this shoe is, if not now, will soon be available in a wide size as well. So I feel like there's a lot of people that can really enjoy a shoe like this and add it to their arsenal as they are training and getting deeper into those marathon training blocks. So those are my thoughts on the Fresh Foam More version four. Let me know in the comments if you have any other questions or better yet, stop by the live stream that I do Monday through Friday right here on YouTube. I'd love to talk to you in the chat. That's all I have for today, everybody. Thanks so much for making it all the way to the end of the video. Hopefully you guys are staying safe out there on your runs. And I will see you in the next one. Yo, what's going on?